Wayne Wilson was the voice of racing in Queensland and one of the industry's most enduring figures. Tributes are pouring in for the veteran race caller who lost his battle with cancer just hours before a record crowd gathered for the Stradbroke handicap. Under perfect blue sky, thousands pausing to remember one man not at the track. Wayne Wilson, a gentleman, legend of racing. The state's premier race day, the Stradbroke Handicap, no one loved it more than Wayne Wilson. It's just a, a shame that he, he couldn't quite get over the line for another Stradbroke. A Queenslander who climbed to the top of his game, the pinnacle, calling Damien Oliver's race to victory in the 2002 Melbourne Cup. This is the one that he's riding for Jason and media puzzle goes to the line to win the Melbourne Cup. It was probably that voice that people relate to. But along with a great voice was a great character and a great man. A man who had two passions, his family and racing. The Gladstone boy called his first race age 12, going on to be the voice behind the microphone for four decades. I don't think there was ever a better racing person. He loved the industry in every sense of the word. Wayne Wilson was first diagnosed with cancer 15 years ago. He didn't retire from racing until 2010. He fought long and hard. Wasn't the first time he pulled himself off the canvas. It's a sad coincidence. Wayne Wilson passed away on the eve of this race day. He sat up there and called the Stradbroke handicap 29 times. And today he was inducted into the Stradbroke Hall of Fame. He never knew he was to receive the honour. His hobby was racing, his life was racing. On this day of racing, an event he loved was toasting to him. And just like in 2002, Damien Oliver tasted victory again. But the last call goes to the man himself. There you have it. The horses are happy, jockeys are happy, and now all we've got to do is to give that big Stradbroke crowd something to cheer about. Wayne Wilson was 66. Jessica Milward, Nine News.